Did you know there are seven pieces to a clarinet that you have to put together before you can play? I'll show you how, coming up. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to put together a clarinet. So we always start at the bottom and then build it up from there. The very bottom piece is called the bell. Then we're going to use what we call the lower joint and it's got a piece of cork on here and then that slides into the bell and the cork is what's going to hold it together. Then we need what we call the upper joint and the upper joint is going to go into the lower joint. But if you are a brand new clarinet player and you're trying to learn how to do this, pay special attention right here. There's this key right here, one of these metal rings. When you push that down, it opens up this piece. Do you see how it's going up and down? You have to push it down on this ring so then this opens up, then you can put it in. If you don't do that, you can bend that key and it's just, it's not a good way to start off your clarinet career. So once that's in, we get our barrel and the barrel is thicker on the bottom than it is at the top so the thicker end is going to go here now this is a little tight so I'm going to use what we call cork grease it looks kind of like chapstick but don't put it on your lips <laughs> but if it's a little tight like that sometimes you need a smidge of cork grease and you just wipe it on on the cork just to make sure everything goes together smoothly and if you have a new clarinet or new corks, you'll have to do it more often and then just every once in a while. Okay, now that we have our barrel on, it's time to add the mouthpiece. And the mouthpiece just goes on top, right into the barrel. And then we're going to put on our ligature. Ligatures are made out of all kinds of different things, different metals, um, plastic, rubber. Mine is made out of silver and it's just going to slide onto the mouthpiece just like that then you're going to need your reed. And a reed is made out of cane, kind of like sugar cane, but a different type. Um, but it is wood basically. And it's really, really smooth. So there's no splinters or anything. It's super clean. It's totally fine to go in your mouth. That's what it's made for. But you're going to need to wet it down a little bit. So if you look at your reed, you have a thicker side and then the thinner side. You have to wet down both sides. And by doing that, it just opens up the reed so that it'll vibrate and it'll work just how you want it to. It'll respond right away. Okay, once you've wet down your reed, then you're going to put it in between the mouthpiece and the ligature. You just slide it on in there. Make sure it's on straight. And then you tighten the ligature just enough that it holds the reed in place. Then we should be ready to go. out of wood and it's kind of hard to see but this is wood it's just really really dark and then it's got a lot of metal on it sometimes they're nickel keys sometimes they're silver plated just kind of depends on how fancy it is but let me give you a good close-up this is the ligature and the mouthpiece and then here's the back side of it this is where my thumb goes and then here's the where your other thumb goes. Okay, so that's the back side. The front side has all the cool stuff. Okay. So some of the keys you have to cover up and push down this 
this little metal ring and then some of them like this one I don't know if you can see that but it's just a hole that you have to cover up with your finger and then there's some keys where if you push down like this one it opens up right here so there's a lot going on this pinky is in charge of one two three four different keys and then this pinky is also in charge of one, two, three, four different pink or different keys. So your pinkies work really hard with the clarinet. So there's all kinds of different combinations you can have. And yeah, that's what makes clarinet so much fun is there's just a lot for your fingers to do. Something like the trumpet, you only have three valves and you have several different combinations, but then you have to do all these adjustments with your mouth. For clarinet, yes, you do have to make adjustments with your mouth, but for the most part, it's all with your fingers. So, I hope you've learned a little something with clarinet. I'll do another video where like, I really play for you, but I just wanted to kind of do an introduction to my main instrument, the clarinet. See you next time. Today's music was the Clarinet Concerto by Mozart. I played part of movement number one and movement number two. Um, this is actually one of my favorite pieces to play on clarinet, so hopefully you'll get to hear me play a little bit more another day. Like I said, today was just an introduction day. Um, I had some requests for some more modern music like Star Wars or Harry Potter or something like that. I need to look into it more. I'm not sure copyright wise what I can and cannot do and I don't want to break the rules. But that's why I started today off with one of my favorites and an oldie but a goodie. So that was Mozart Clarinet Concerto. Alright, I've decided to start a new segment. I don't know how often I'll do it, but I've gotten a couple things from my students. So my new segment I'm calling Sweet Stuff from Students. Um, I got a uh, birthday snack from Lila. Thank you, Lila. Happy birthday. I got this awesome picture from my man Cole. Thank you, Cole, for drawing me that. I got this necklace. We just had our big spring concert. And I got this necklace. So I got this necklace from Katie. It looks like a treble clef with a little heart on it. So I thought that was super cool. She gave that to me um, right before our spring concert started. She gave it to me that night. So thank you, Katie. And last but not least, I got a Laffy Taffy from Haley. And I have to read the jokes on it. So first one, why did the strawberry cross the road? because his mother was in a jam. And the other one is, how do you keep a line from charging? You take away its credit cards. So that concludes Sweet Stuff from Students. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. <laughs>